What's up guys, Josh Paris here from RB Bass and Arlando Bella from RB Bass. Today we're doing a video fishing report. We're out here on Comanche, going to kind of break down water temp, um, baits we used, what we caught, how we did it, depths. Um, starting out in the morning, temps were about 54 degrees, warmed all the way up to 59 in the afternoon. First thing in the morning, definitely found some fish roaming the flats up pretty shallow, I mean two to ten feet. Uh, success first thing in the morning seemed to be underspins, A-rigs. Um, did get tipped on the S Waiver 200. Um, after that, Arlando actually did some cleanup with the drop shop, break yeah. down your rig a little bit. So basically, I caught one fish early in the morning. Um, it spit up a crawdad, like I said, first thing in the morning. So what we did was I kind of matched the hatch with the coloring scheme. Uh, I was throwing a, I think it was a five inch rubble worm. It was the color of uh, green weenie. Is that real faded green with a little bit of brown tint at the bottom, real translucent. But that matched the hatch perfectly with the crawdads. And I went ahead and we I had one of these islands that I found fish on uh, previously in the week. We went out there, it's about 40 feet deep. Uh, water temp was still about the same out there. Uh, it was kind of calm. It was around, what do you say, about 10 o'clock? Yeah. 10 o'clock in the afternoon, or in the morning, I guess you could say. And uh, we really cleaned up. We grafted a lot of fish, dropped on them, they hit. And I mean, we really went to work and then yeah. we went to one of your spots, which was a point we cast some big S waivers and I know you got bit by a big one. Go ahead and tell yeah. me about that. Yeah, so throwing the S waiver 200, um, early in the morning, actually right before he caught that uh, drop shot fish that had spit up the crawl, I had actually stuck one on a HUD for a few seconds, ended up coming off, gave me a little confidence to start throwing the S waiver. So uh, later after we left the island where we caught a bunch of fish, we kind of ran some points, um, throwing, chucking big baits. I did get it actually tipped a few times, had some decent followers coming in. They just really weren't connecting with the bait. A couple of the bites were pretty pretty hard bites, but they just seemed to be glancing it. Uh, most of what I saw, they were big spots, four to six pound spots coming up. Um, following it, they were a bit spooky. Um, not your typical glide bait fish, kind of focusing on the bait. I mean, as soon as we moved, they kind of peeled off, but um, kind of finished out the day doing that. We did run back out to the island did catch one or two more fish. It definitely slowed down in the afternoon. Was not as hot and heavy as it was in the morning. Seems like this water temp warmed up definitely got some of those fish moving around. Um, we didn't graft nearly as many. They're probably starting to look to go shallow a little bit. So I uh, hope that helps you guys out. Uh, your next trip out, definitely bring a jig and a drop shot. And that's way over 200, definitely a bait to not leave at home. For sure. um, so yeah, good luck and we'll see you.